dear students we are continuing our discussion on module 3 uh, in first part we are discussed about industrial safety and different dimensions of industrial safety i already shared these are the four parts in uh, module 3 first part we are de deal with industrial safety and what are the elements of industrial safety in this session we are deals with accident last part we will deal with pollution okay so this video lecture aiming accident so what is accidents we all hear the term accidents and we are very familiar with the term accidents now day to day life so uh, it may be a, a road accident whatever many accidents we know so here we are discussing about industrial accidents of course industrial accidents accidents happening in industry so what is industrial accident industrial accident can be defined as an event Uh, which happened to related to the health of a man suddenly occurring and originating from an external source which is associated with the performance of a paid job acc accompanied by an injury followed by a disability or even death basically we need to understand three terms basically accidents we are related to the employee uh, happening to a, a worker which occurring suddenly because of some external factor through this unexpected incident it affects the performance of the employee or it may be make an injury or it can be make disability or even death so accident is a sudden occurring in any industry due to any external reason <coughs> so uh, while we are discussing about industrial accidents uh, as a industrial engineer our major concern about the cause parameter cause factors related to in accidents generally uh, two cause parameters are the which are related to accident one is direct cause second one is indirect cause so what is direct cause associated with accident direct cause is the cost we are spending which directly associated with the person having an accident maybe it may be the amount we are paying for the hospital expenses amount we are paying as a compensation amount we are paying as insurance uh, amount we are uh, paying for any meeting any expense of the employee which have, which met the accident maybe it may be the uh, wage loss of injured person we, are, we have to pay that right because it's happening now in the street so all cost is directly associated with the act because of that accident there are indirect causes indirectly how this affects the industry uh, loss time of injured person if a person is having a experienced one if he's not working in industry it's affecting the total productivity because of an accident may be uh, damage the equipment or material or even plant that's indirect cost uh, we have to pay for an additional worker on behalf of the injured worker that is a, a in, indirect cost uh, maybe due to this accident maybe some production delay may happen that also having indirect cost so if it's clear what is the difference between a direct cost and indirect cost so these are the two type of cost associated with any type of accident so generally industrial accidents industrial accidents are classified into two machinery accident the uh, the accident happening due to machinery problem and non machinery accidents uh, generally classification is two machinery accident and non machinery accident what is machinery accident machinery accidents are the accident occurred due to inadequate safeguarding of machines basically the accident happening is not because of any reason of the employee it's happening because of the proper improper maintenance or improper installation of the machines it can be reduced by proper safeguarding of bell gears so we, we know the industry which have made accident due to the breakage of bells gears etc because of uh, many many reasons are there non machinery accidents are ba basically the accident occurs which which relate to the personal reason of the employee or because of the reason in the infrastructure what is machinery second is non machinery machinery is accident happening to the reason of mission non machinery uh, basically it can be happening to the reasons of persons or that's a worker and those those who relate to 
in infrastructure so what are the major reason for non missionary activity one can be age uh, i said one of the reason for non missionary action is the is is due to the employer or the worker who is working so age is a factor if a experienced one is working the chance of access may be less second can be experience if more uh, for ex more if, if a worker is working in a mission on a uh, for a longer term longer years he know what is the how to deal with that mission so experience is a factor physical condition of the worker is a factor if they have a small problem illness like a, a fever throat pain cold headache that may lead to any fatigue that will lead to uh, that will lead to uh, maybe due to if, uh, for reduce the focus on while doing the experiment or while doing the the work that also lead to accidents the production rate if a, a, a a target is there for the worker to complete the production rate if he, if he is working to complete that um, that much amount of production surely he has to work in a very speedy manner so because of that speed chance of accident is more um, i said along with the physical condition second non missionary uh, option is the due to infrastructure one of the reason is atmospheric condition if a worker is working in a higher temperature or a colder temperature both way uh, is chance of accident is the due to illumination or improper lighting uh, fatigue of the employee is also a reason so these are the some of the reasons for a non missionary accident so uh, generally cause also can be considered uh, uh, in a similar manner what we are explained now uh, generally two causes may be the one is technical causes that's the uh, one we are explain as a me mechanical missionary failure mechanical factors or environmental factors is the called technical factors second one is human causes uh, this type of general classification may be technical causes as well as human causes what is technical causes as i said technical causes due to the uh, technical errors in plan equipment tools or material handling system whatever it may be the so it can be generally two mechanical factors or environmental factors mechanical factors may be the factors Uh, the cause of accident is the mechanical part or machinery part so it may be due to the improper insulation improper metal handling overloading uh, any type of leakaging uh, prop improper usage of boilers pressure vessels etc unsafe mechanical design or construction these are the major reason for mechanical factor uh, here the object uh, the main focus factor is mission it with without proper insulation without proper maintenance it leads to accident second technological factor is environmental factors as i said earlier lighting temperature humidity improper physical condition atmospheric condition which all technical factors will lead to accidents so these are the first area technical factors second factor the environmental factors i have already discussed that low temperature high temperature illumination proper improper ventilation presence of dust film smoke uh, long working hours less break all are, uh, uh, the environmental factors which affecting the accidents second are human factors uh, we already discussed about human factors age if a experienced worker is working the uh, chance of accident is less uh, the health of employee is very important he has to be working in a very good health condition lack of knowledge and skill yeah, experienced one have a high knowledge it, it will reduce the accident high anxiety level of workers which also lead to accidents fatigue of the employee will is one of the major reason for fat, uh, accidents carelessness negligence are the it's all are human factors which lead, lead to accidents so these are the major factors which affecting the industrial accident so why we need to prevent accident why we need to prevent accident if an industry having a a, 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 a very high number of accidents surely its productivity should be should be less so basically uh, to increase the morale of employee we had to prevent the accident uh, to have a better employee employee relation we have to prevent accident 
Okay. To reduce the operation and production cost, we have to prevent accident. To prevent the injury, uh, medical death, uh, maybe to any harmfulness of the employee, we have to reduce the accident, prevent the accident. For increasing productivity, we must prevent accident. So these are the major objectives of why we need to prevent accident. For, um, from the as a summary, we know for if an industry has to be, uh, we said it's a good working condition. Should we should avoid different types of accidents causing in an industry. So what how we can avoid uh, this area? How we can avoid accidents? What are the methods? What are the methods which commonly used in industry? Uh, where, where are the areas we have to be looking to for reduce accident? First one is safe workplace layout. Uh, with, with, what are the major reason of accidents are improper layout. With, with proper work layout, with enough spacing, with uh, enough uh, control of the employee, with, with enough passage to workplace road tracks, without uh, high heat ceiling, floors not skippy, such as well plain. With proper workplace layout, we can reduce the accidents. Safe working condition, that, that is one of another reason. Closed room, air temperature, air purity, humidity, proper ventilation, uh, uh, proper lighting, uh, sound, noise. Safe working condition surely increase the productivity of the, productivity of the employee. So, that automatically lead to prevent the accident. Safe material handling. Do not overload any equipment. Uh, that is one of the reasons many of the equipment are damaged due to overloading uh, different passage for uh, workers and handling equipment. Emergency switches should be there. If any emergency is there, they have to be off the mission suddenly. That is also an uh, important factor. Safe material handling. Another, uh, sorry, this is not third one, fourth one. Another area how to reduce action is use of PPE. What is PPE? Personal protective devices. The personal protective devices or the protective gears should use. Every employee who working in mission should use uh, protective gears. There are many protective gears are the which uh, which shielding our uh, employees for protecting. I uh, for which uh, which uh, uh, which which reduces from the bright light or dust or fumes. Google Shield for protecting ear from noise and sound. There are there are many helmet ear plate cautions are there for protecting face from chemical injuries, flying objects. We have helmets for protecting arms from accident in inertia of rotating part, etc. We have gloves finger cords, etc. Other. Like that for protecting head, we have uh, protective caps, helmets, other. For respiratory system, we have mask, respirator, etc. Other. For protecting of skin body, firefighting clothes should be there. For protecting foot and leg, safety shoes, guard, etc. should be there. Like that, according to the mission they are working, according to the industry they are working, every employee should use different types of personal protecting devices. This is one of the major area we have to focus. Fifth one, prevention of electrical accident. That is one of the major reason in accidents in industry. We have to provide good insulation. We have to provide high voltage equipment. Will be properly guarded, uh, guarded and fenced. Power should be switched off before repairing any accident. Uh, proper wiring, isolation should be done in proper way. Uh, this is one of the major reasons, electrical accident. Last one, good housekeeping. We have to, by, by keeping the area in a proper, neat and clean manner, that is still a produced accident. By neat area, clear passage, well drained, well maintained roads, extra will reduce the accident. So these are the major aids. Last one is uh, eliminate or reduce the accident prone. Like import adequate training, engage, employee, 
strain is one of the important factor for reducing accidents. Uh, providing different checklists, providing different guidelines, etc. By, by keeping a proper safety training, uh, we can reduce the accidents. In this lecture, we are discussed about industrial accidents, what are the reasons for industrial accidents and how we can reduce industrial accidents, what are the methods to reduce industrial accidents. Hope it is very clear to you. In last part, we will uh, deal with pollution and how we can avoid pollution. Thank you.